Come ride the little train that is rolling down the tracks to the junction. Forget about your cares, it is time to relax at the junction. Lots of curves, you bet. Need more when you get to the junction. Here comes the junction. There's a little hotel called the Shady Rest at the junction. It is run by Joe, come and be his guest at the junction. Here's our lady MD, she's as pretty as can be at the junction. Ready, go up, junction. <laughs> You know, it's hard to believe that she'll be having her first birthday party tomorrow. Now, take it easy, darling. You've had a hard day. Which darling are you speaking to? Good question. I think she can wear him out. Hmm? Any word from Billy Joe? Not yet. I hope she can make it tomorrow. Oh, don't worry. She'll be here. Well, why shouldn't she? Well, Uncle Joe, she does have her career to think of. What's a career compared to my grandniece's first birthday? <laughs> Strictly a female, female, and my future, I hope, will be in the home of a brave and free male who'll enjoy being a guy, having a girl like me. Oh, they liked me. More important, he liked you. They want to hold you over. Oh, that's great. Wonderful. Oh, but not tomorrow, of course. What do you mean, not tomorrow? Of course, tomorrow. Huh. What do you think holdover means? Oh, but I've got to be back home in Hooterville tomorrow night. It's a very special birthday. You're going to be 21? <laughs> not again. Well, what is it? My niece. She's going to be one. One what? One year old. Oh, boy. Down through the ages, it's been the show must go on. Ruby Keeler, she went on no matter what. Al Jolson went on no matter what. Dick Howell went on no matter what. And then there was Alvin Moody. Well, I never heard of him. <laughs> you see? He didn't go on. <laughs> You're committed. I signed a deal. But you had no right to. But this is Kathy Joe's first birthday. All right. You do what you want. But think this over carefully. All you've got to lose is your career. Me, I can always turn to drink. <laughs> Steve around? He's up in bed. In bed? Sick? Oh, no. He's just taking the day off to celebrate Kathy Joe's first birthday. Oh. You are coming to the party, aren't you? Oh, you betcha. I wouldn't miss out if my life depended on it. Well, would you tell Steve I got a message for him? Oh, sure. I'm just taking breakfast up to him and Kathy Joe. Looks mighty appetizing. Hope Steve enjoys the bone. <laughs> you should see them all in bed. They make quite a trio. Yeah, I can imagine. Oh, uh, is, is Doc Craig around? Oh, no, she had a lot of calls to make. In fact, she's been so busy, Bobby Joe's been giving her a hand. Yeah, yeah, she's been going full steam lately. Well, I got an urgent message for her, too. Uh, I'll just leave it in the box. Huh. You want me, Sam? Oh, hi, Steve. Say, I hate to spoil your day off, but I just got a call from the Iverson Ranch over in King County. Uh, that's the job I just finished. What's their problem? Something about an infestation in their corn acreage. Huh. Can't understand that. Well, old man Iverson seemed pretty upset. Wanted you to get over there right away. Uh, thanks, Sam. I'll head over there right after breakfast. Steve, why don't you let me take care of it? Sure, you don't even know how to fly a plane. I'm going to take care of your breakfast. <laughs> There's one of the great pinch hitters of all time when it comes to stepping up to the plate and taking over another man's meal. A grand slam every time. <laughs> why don't you go back to your store and water down the milk? <laughs> Oh, hi, Doc, and doctor's assistant. Hello, Hello Sam. Sam. So I left a message for you in your box at the desk. Charlie Hanks called, said Mary thinks this could be the day. Oh. He just wanted to make sure you were on tap. You know Mary when she has young and she has them fast. Well, you tell him not to worry. I've already arranged with Wendell to give me a signal on the cannonball whenever we're needed. Oh, good. I'll see you at the party tonight. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Work I've ever done. Oh, the dish is such a wonderful.
wonderful feeling when you know you're helping humanity, alleviating suffering, making the world a better place for mankind. Well, we're out for a big day on the town. Uh, what's all this? Oh, it's a special treat for her birthday. Uncle Joe's taking Kathy Joe into Pixley. And she gets to pick out her own present. Anything she wants, she gets. Anything. I'll keep my fingers crossed for you, Uncle Joe. He'll just die if she doesn't pick out an electric train. <laughs> oh, I'd settle for a wind up. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can have fun. And don't forget to be back in plenty of time for the... P-A-R-T-Y. <laughs> Bobby Joe, you don't have to spell out the words. I caught on what you were talking about all the time. <laughs> well, see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> there goes quite a pair. <laughs> show you the sights of the town. Andy Joe, how about some ice cream before we start on our journey? Good, you're my kind of niece. Boy, yes sir, have an ice cream bar. Give me a chocolate and vanilla, sir. Give me chocolate. Come on, sir. Do. new fish bowl for your birthday. A uh, real <laughs> new tackle box. <laughs> okay. I don't blame you. Just that I'm surrounded by women out there at the Shady Rest. I was sort of hoping I'd get me a fishing buddy. But you can't help it. We'll get on down to the toy store. Remember, I'm keeping my promise. You can pick out anything you want. Anything. <laughs> oh, now you wake up. <laughs> Just like a woman. <laughs> Thank you, Kathy Joe. Isn't he a cute little fella? Wave bye-bye. Wave bye-bye. All right, now we'll go get Kathy Joe's birthday present. Don't cry, Uncle Joe's taking you to the toy store. Oh, you want to see the monkey again? Okay. Hello, little fella. This is Kathy Joe. <laughs> well, on to the toy store. Kathy, don't cry. We're going to get you a doll. Or maybe a panda bear. Or a wagon. Or... Oh, no. Don't tell me you want the monkey. <laughs> well, I asked for it. We're going to get you whatever you wanted. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Bobby Joe. Oh, no, my gosh, where'd you go? <laughs> your mother would have checked. Yes, brother. 
You're darn right he's here. You got who? Oh, that drunk. <laughs> now, what's that got to do with... You want a what? That's right. Have an exchange of prisoners. <laughs> well, doggone it, country, Stuart. You any better in a country? <laughs> all yours. Thanks, Sheriff. Come on, Joe. Wait a minute. Are you kidding? Trading me for the town drunk? I'm in solid. <laughs> okay, I'll just take Kathy Joe and the monkey. You can stay here if you want. Oh, no. I said I was in solid, not stupid. <laughs> Come on, now. It's nice to be home. Just look at her hair, look at her curls, look at those teeth, they're just like pearls. Ooh, look at her, ain't she pretty? She looks like a beautiful wax star. And you are bound to fall. Well, I like your dress, I love your nose. Look at that smile, get along to that pose. Ooh, look at her, ain't she pretty? Oh, yeah. Come on, Kathy, you're quick for the change the mind. Pardon me, miss, but I've never done this with a real live girl. Straight off the farm with an actual arm full of real live girl. Pardon me if your affectionate squeeze bogs up my goggles and buckles my knees. I'm simply drowned in the sight and the sound and the scent and the feel of a real live girl. Nothing can beat being swept off your feet by a real live girl. <laughs> Dreams in your bunk don't compare with the hunk of a real live girl. Speaking of miracles, this must be it. <laughs> Just when I started to learn how to knit, I'm all in stitches from finding what riches a horse can reveal with a real She'll make a wish. Okay. Ready? We like that, Kathy. Love you.